Welcome to Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at how to change minutes to decimal fractions of an hour, which will help us to solve problems when we have to have our time quoted in a decimal like 1.3 as opposed to 1 hour 30 minutes or 1 hour 40 minutes. Uh, we'll also be looking at how to change it back, so to go from a decimal like 0.4 hours to change that back into minutes and use that in the context of the distance speed to time formula. If you're liking this video, give it a little thumbs up and check the links in the description. If I had 53 minutes, I want to know what that is as a decimal. Now, what it is not, it is not 0.53. A lot of people do make that mistake because they think, see what, 53, 0.53 is like a normal decimal. But we need to remember it's out of 60, not out of 100. So our step is always the same. We do a fraction first. 53 out of 60 hours. <coughs> now, to change any fraction to a decimal, you divide top by bottom. So I need to do the sum 53 divided by 60. And I'm not going to do that in my head. Use a calculator. So you do 53 divided by 60 in a calculator, you get 0 0.883. So 0 0.88 to two decimal places would be 53 minutes as a decimal. Want to know if we've got a decimal hour, like 0.4 hours, we want to know how many minutes that would be, okay? So we can go backwards as well from one to the other. So I'll do an example here. If I had 0.4 hours, and I want to change that to minutes, well, before we divided by 60, so we'll do the opposite if we're going the other way, times by 60. So I just need to do 0.4 times 60, which would give me 24 minutes. And it will be in the context of the question, you'll know whether you need to leave your answer as hours and minutes, which means you'll have to do it this way, or whether you'll be happy enough to leave your answer as just a decimal hour. So for example, a car travels at an average speed of 40 miles per hour for 33 minutes, how far did it travel? So step one is the same as in previous examples where you've got two different things. You've got hours for the miles per hour, you've got minutes for the time. So you always change your minutes to a bit of an hour, a fraction of an hour or a decimal. So I've got 33 minutes. So that's 33 out of 60 hours. But you should notice when you look at 33 out of 60, it's not a very convenient fraction. You can simplify it a little bit, but if you're using a calculator, a bit off straight away, just go straight in to change it to a decimal. So we're going to just do that. If you can't simplify it to a nice small fraction, like a half a quarter, use a calculator, change it to a decimal. So I need to do 33 divided by 60 is 0.55 hours. So step two, we use a speed distance time, so we need a triangle. Distance on the top over speed times time. I'm trying to work out how far I travelled, so I cover distance up and it says do speed times time. So I write down my formula, distance equals speed times time. Speed is 40, the time is 0.55 now. Miles. Let's look at another example. So example, how long would a 65 kilometre journey take at an average speed of 50 kilometres per hour? And you have to give your answer in hours and minutes. So there's no conversion to do yet because I've not worked out the time. So if you've not got the time to convert, you need to wait to the end to do that. So step one in this case is just to draw my distance speed time triangle. I'm looking for the time, so I cover up the T and it says D over S. So I can write that T equals D divided by S. The distance is 65 kilometres and the speed is 50 kilometers per hour. 65 divided by 50, which is 1.3. Now 
Now the units on this at the moment is hours because the speed was kilometers per hour. So it's 1.3 hours. But if I look back at my question, it says give answer in hours and minutes. So I'm gonna to have to change this 1.3 to hours and minutes. Okay, so I've already got step two, I've already got one hour, but I've got the point three. So the 0 0.3 I need to change to minutes, so I times that by 60, 0 0.3 times 60, which is 18 minutes. Now, my 1.3 hours is 1 hour, 18 minutes. And that's my final answer. Mr. Clown here, thanks for watching that video on changing minutes to decimal fractions of an hour. Hopefully you found that useful and you're now able to do all the problems that you need to do in relation to the distance, speed and time formula. If you need any further help, check the links in the description and please remember to subscribe.